What's up, motherfuckers? It's been a long time, dog. Damn. Got that air money, dog. Look at that. It's got a fucking diamond on it. It kind of matches my tattoo. They look pretty fucking gangster. I'm gonna wear those when I fucking do my next gig. I'm gonna pop some Motorola's in there. I got a couple, a couple new fucking shoes. You know what I'm saying? Actually, these were only 34 bucks. Both of these at the outlet store. Mmm. Shit. You still soap? Faux life, motherfucker. Soap or die, bitch. What? What? Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, man, I'm just kind of kicking in. Just got back from the mall. Tired, bro. Pimped out my room. Check it out, dog. Christmas lights everywhere. We got the tree. Living in that luxury. This is that new fucking Tempur-Pedic memory foam shit. So, you know what I'm saying? This little breakfast nook. Mm. Virtual fire. All about that lifestyle fucking, you know, success, dog. We're doing it big. Lavish. Man, every day is like fucking, it's like work seven days a week. And then, and then I try to pimp out my fucking pad and, and, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> what the fuck, dog? The pinwheel popped. Kind of ruined my set. Oh shit, I gotta pimp my lights out right quick. I forgot to turn this on. Got to chill, check it out. Oh, uh, whoa. Check it out on the roof, dog. Fuck. Aw, oh, shit. Star projector, dog. Pimping out the vocal booth and shit. I got the new uh, Audio Technica, the white ones I was talking about. Cause I know like, they look so much, so much more pimp, dude. You know, my last pair, this is the pair that I had when I was at um, Musicians Institute, the last Audio Technica. These ones, oh my God, look, dude, that leather right there is so soft, and they play pretty, pretty fucking loud, but working on some stuff, man. I haven't put out any new music in a while, but I'm going to pretty soon. Much love to Pascal DeVraz on uh, Instagram for fucking winning uh, the fan art contest. I made this into a fucking uh, poster. Gotta blast his name out there, you know what I'm saying, for doing such good art. And I even made it into stickers that you can get on Redbubble. Put on fucking t-shirt designs and shit. You know, just blowing it up. That's what you gotta do. Oh, fuck. That's what I was gonna do. Gotta make some of that good drink. You guys wanna have some of that good drink with me? Let's see. Because we got the bar. You know what I'm saying? But, got that private Ryan J stock over here. You know what I'm saying? For real gangsters right here. We got that motherfucking... We got that Hennessy right there, dog. We're gonna mix that up with some Coke. Have a little, have a little drink. And that menage... A twa, you know what I'm saying? I don't really drink that, but I keep it there. It's, it's, it's subliminal. Girls come over and they might not even see that bottle, but menage a twa, they start thinking threesome in their head and I don't even gotta say something, but that's, that's a whole different level of super game that we're on. So let's, um, let's mix up this Hennessy right here. And um, man, we'll just kick it for a minute. <laughs> Secrets. I still gotta go to fucking Lee's and buy a keg, and I have to go to the fucking air gas place and get some CO2. But we're gonna hook this this bad boy up soon. I had to replace my other one. I had that $700 kegerator, and it fucking um, it was hard times, dog. I had to sell it, but I got this new one, and I kind of like it better. Edge Star, I guess it's called. And then we got this fucking dope ass mini fridge by New Air. I love this thing too, actually, because. I gotta, I gotta restock it right now, but fuck, dude, it blew up um, some of the beers. So I actually, I can't even put the beer against the back of the wall because it gets so cold and fucking uh, a couple of them blew up, dog. And that's a fucking, that's a waste of fucking beer. Mm. Oh, fuck, god damn, my motherfucking Hennessy and Coke, that's a gangster drink. Look at my fucking freezer dog it's all fruits and vegetables i use a lot of tupperware and shit like that um i need some ice them bubba burgers dog bubba burger deserves it damn motherfucker so good isn't fresh dog 
Shit, since you're all here, let's make it a triple. Triple Hennessy and Coke. That's like extra, extra gangster dog. Bomb. Mm. Oh, fuck. Sip on that fucking good drink right here, dog. Mm. Ah, so good. So, damn, yeah, it's like, I feel like I work fucking seven days a week, dog. It's like it never stops. I pretty much just live here at my house. YouTube videos and doing merch and what else I've been doing? Um, A lot of studying. For example, I fucking... I just finished reading this book, How to Become a Model. I've been practicing a lot. I've been going to like Fashion Show Mall, trying to practice on the catwalk and shit. And um, you know, security, security kind of looks at me funny, I guess. I gotta clean my fucking bathroom, dog. Um, shit is, shit is getting pimped out over here. We got that motherfucking vortex lamp, dog. It changes colors. That shit is fucking pimp. My new vanity. That shit's fucking gangster as fuck. Got a new 26 inch TV so I can watch fucking uh, movies in the shower. But, um, fuck. But yeah, I just ordered some more merch, shit like that. I'm building basically, you know, the Ryan J line. We got this bad boy right here, soap or die t shirt. Sweatshirts. Oh shit, Soap Nation, motherfucker. Ah, uh, and you know the classic, the classic fire logo. That's what we do. The hashtag. Shit. Clowning back on the H3, so I made a t-shirt. If I'm gonna do this, I definitely need some coffee if I'm gonna, before I do this. I think that's dope. And I got a lot more coming. Long sleeve, we got short sleeve, we got different colors. Doing all that shit, just... It takes so much fucking time, dog. Like, poster, my new poster's out, so that's dope. You know how we do it, king style, baby. Mm. I made a fan art wall, thanks to all you guys. Pretty soon I'll start vlogging in front of this. I gotta figure out how to light it a little better in here, though. But we'll work on that shit. Fuck, that went fast. Should we take another? That's how gangsters do it. Let's do it. Let's do some more, dog. Yeah, man, but it's like, ooh, another triple? It's like drinking a fucking six pack. <laughs> but yeah, man, so. Smell that shit. Here, wait. Hear the fizz? Hear the, hear the fizz? Oh, fuck. Let's focus in on that. Mm. Some gangster ASMR for y'all. Mm. So, yeah, man, and trying to work on like music and stuff. I know I haven't really put out anything in the public new, but there's a lot of stuff on the back scene that I've been doing over here. Singing lessons, dancing lessons, different types of lyrics, working on these mega ballads, these acoustic sets. I spend most of my time by myself these days. I just don't really fuck with nobody no more. I don't feel like anyone's on my level. You know, when I work this crazy post 24 hour day, I'll other, working the other side of the clock and shit. I have to meet with a client tomorrow at three and I'm doing like an audio installation, which is gonna be probably a 12 hour day and I'll pick up like, I think it's, I think it's 300 for the day rate for tomorrow for 12 hours or something like that. I think it's at 27 tomorrow. And then other than that, like the next six days, I'll be at the house working on my shit. I'm working on, um, my master pickup artist book is right here. I'm on page like 297 of that. So that's taking a lot of my time sitting around typing that. And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm always up at the most weirdest hours. Nobody's, you know, it's, it's hard to catch people unless I'm in that window or something like that. It's weird. It's hard to explain. So I haven't been doing a lot of pickup. I just don't have the time. It's like, start talking to a girl and you realize like, I, I can't be there for you. I've got, I've got my own life. These, these songs, 
They're not going to write themselves. These books don't write themselves. These muscles don't fucking grow unless I go to the gym all the time. Trying to stay on top of that is tough, bro. Just getting into some projects for the last two months. I was down to 191, and then, like, I swear to God, it was like a month and a half. I didn't count my macros, and I was starting to bulk again, and I was dirty bulking. Put on 20 pounds, which is why I probably look a little fatter right now than just around back when it was like Christmas. But anyway, I'm not really... You know, I'll do the pickup coaching and the dating coaching and stuff. If someone calls, if they do a Skype session, I do these little like one hour on Skype where I give dudes coaching for a hundred bucks or I still do like, you know, two hours for 250 live and I do the um, 2,500 for eight hours with me, um, boot camp and stuff like that. So it's like, I'll, I'll still do it. I'll still book in clients here and there. But in terms of like, because people are like, oh, Where's all the bitches? Where's the clubbing footage? It's like, man, I'm not really going out doing that shit anymore. So it's just, it is what it is. I have way too, I have too much motherfucking shit on my plate to, 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 to be going out fucking chasing after hoes and shit. I mean, it's Vegas, you know, you could get laid anytime you want. I guess it's just not a priority. It's kind of like been there, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. It's like, and you got all this stuff in the rotation and you're doing like all these projects. It's just, it's, it's tough to manage everything in there and then like always something new comes up. But anyway, that's, that's just kind of the latest and greatest. I just wanted to say what's up, you know, fucking hope everyone's doing good. Is it hot in here now? I swear to God, it was cold. I thought I put this sweater on, but oh well. Yeah, but fuck, dog. Feeling the effects. It's good. See you guys on the next one, dog. Let's sip on this handy. Peace.